pick I'm using, that's uh, it's a Camasan, it's a D270 wee double. You can tie it on a single, you can tie it whatever you like, uh, it's up to yourself. I'm going to use the black thread uni and 8 -oh. I'm just going to start at the eye, so I've waxed the thread. I'm just going to wind down, I'm tie in the tail. Now the tail, when I looked on the internet did a search for the fly, I've seen uh, Tips are red tips, hackles, uh, I've used, I've seen dyed, in this case what I'm going to be using is, this is domestic duck, white duck, which I'm going to use a right and a left feather to get a, a nice tail. To get a tail out, all I do is use my dubbing needle. Uh, you're looking round about maybe four fibres. Take it away from either, let's say, your right and the left side. Do this side. Now before I do that, I don't know if you can see that, there's a bit of a curl in that fibre. Now before you take it off, you can use the your nail and on the back, you can take the curl out, just running your nail along the edge. I don't know if you can see that, but it's actually straightened it up now. So you can actually then tie it in, it's easier to try and get it straight. So if you can do it before you take it off, it's, it's much easier to manipulate and get it to sit right. I mean there's one I take off, there's too much of a curve in that, I've actually taken it off. So what I'll show you maybe, what you do is you put your nail against the curve, just lightly rub it along and you'll see it actually straightens it out. Slightly went too far so you can go back. It doesn't take much to do it, don't dig your nail in, it's just lightly run it through and that'll straighten the tail up. So we've got my right and our left, Length, it's up to yourself really, a nice balance in the fly. I usually try and go shank length, or, so if you look at the shank length and the body length, the, the fly over the back, now obviously you're looking at the underside or the, the, the actual tail, so what I'm going to do is bring them together. Length, again measure it, sit there on the top, the pinching loop. Nice and easy, take it down a couple of turns just to hold the tail. If you're happy with the length, with the position, then you can trim it away. Trim it the length of the body so we can trim it there. I'm using a small silver wire for the rib, which I'm going to catch in. Full length of the body so there's no steps. And then we take the thread up. Now on the way down, I'm going to come back down with the tinsel. I'm using a medium to a large gold, a silver and gold tinsel here, it's either, so, but we need the silver side. So I'm basically going to tie it down with the gold facing myself. Just watch where you are, come back up. Just take your time, get a nice piece of thread down to wind your tinsel on. Position it where you want to start and then work your way up. Just nice and easy. Cross your thread, three or four turns in, trim away your tinsel. And then you want a nice straight turn at the back, protect the back of the tinsel, and then wind your wire up, ribbing it round about five times. Pull up with the thread, put a 90 degree bend into the the wire which will basically lock it in. Make sure you wax on your thread, secure it down. Now on this you we can either wind a hackle or put a false hackle underneath, just some fibres. It's up to yourself depending on how sparse you want it. Just checking my tail. It's okay. Now I'm just using this is just a, a Chinese hen which have dyed two blue just so it's slightly, slightly darker. Length of the fibre, don't be shy with it. It's a nice soft tackle you've got here. Now, what I'm going to do, these are very, they're not the best feathers in the world, you can see there. I'm going to tie it in at the base rather than at the tip. So, just need it a wee bit stronger down there. I'm just tying it in to suit the quality of these wee feathers, and this is what I feel I have to do. So, what we do then, catch this in. 
just offer it slightly to the side and using the angle of the turner thread to catch it against the, the hook shank on the side of the head. Once you've caught it in, now you're only going to get two or three turns from this. I'm using a very fine pair of hackle pliers. You want nice straight turns. The one turn in front of the other. That is it. Follow it up. A 90 degree bend into the stem of the feather. Keeping the thread tight. Make sure it's secure. Remove your hackle plier. For strength, what I normally do is just, just pull it back with your fingers. Fold back the tip. Tidy that head area. Make sure there's wax on your thread. You can then grab the tip, keep the thread tight, and you can break it off. I'm just going to pull it back. Now, we're ready for our wing. Now, for the wing, as I said, I'm using the mallard flag. Now, I have been using some here, so uh, I've got a large feather. Just to show you, best to have a right and a left to work with. If you've got a right and a left, uh, it's easy to then form a wing. So. I've got the left side here, and partly used, I've got the right side. So what we need to do is, I'll show you, come in, take away what we don't need. We need a slip from either side, not too wide for a small fly like this. You can then tear it off from the other side. bring it back in, make sure you bring it enough to form the wing. If you're happy you can then tear it away. So then what we've got a right and a left. In comparison to t uh, teal, this is a, a softer a softer colour, not as black and white, it's just a more like a grey and white. So we've got a right and a left, you can see the tips of the lined up, they're sitting sort of flat, you'll see the underside of the wing. So what I'm then I'm going to do is fold it and set it on the top. So we just basically fold, bring it, get it as close to the shank as we can. Come through your fingers, three or four turns. Just making sure you've got it in. Just check the length. Happy with the length. Just checking it's not too bad. Maybe it could. Go a wee tad shorter about I'll just come back. Go back, if you're not happy, go back. It's easy enough to go back. So I'm just pushing it forward. And then come back in with another pinch and loop. Two or three turns. That's better. Then we can now trim this away. Just make sure you've got wax on your thread. Tidy the head area up. Take your thread to the eye and come back up. Then what we do is whip finish, and there we are. Trim away your thread. What I like to do, this is, you've always seen me doing this, a wee touch, super glue on the head. This is a wee tiny touch, don't, all the way around. Just be careful. Allow that to dry, and that dries really quick, within a couple, um, couple of minutes it'll be dry. And then what you'll do is, uh, coat of varnish. Now, I'll just get this to sit nice for you, so you can see. There we are. Once they marry to the tail, because of the feather. There we go. So, it's a fly I've got asked quite a lot for. Uh, promised I would do it, so there we are. Very popular fly in Norway, so I hope you enjoyed that.